All right, for those of you guys that want to know how I keep my bluegills alive when we go catfishing, you're looking at it right there. That's my bait tank slash pond slash bug central. So, but that's it. It's just basic aerator. That's a horse tank. It's a landscape breaks around it and a waterfall. So maybe $500 invest in that. It's, it looks nice. It's not something that's all cheesy in a garage with a bunch of pumps and screens over it. Uh, and it works pretty good. All right, we're gonna do a quick video here. It's Nate with Fishing Michiana. We are headed out in my backyard. I live on the Elkhart River in Dunlap, Indiana. And while we're heading out there, we might take a little quick cast here in my pond. But what we're after is some smallmouth. I brought the five foot ultralight. I just picked up a clear H2O with some four pound test. And I will show you the rig that I'm using when I get out there. But this is pretty much a quick after work trip. We're just gonna see if we can put some fish on the line, put a little video together to show you guys. And hopefully have some fun while we're doing it. So here's the pond. Don't mind the algae. So this pond, there's a long story behind it, but this pond's about a half an acre. I'm gonna put you guys up top here. Like I was saying, it's about a half an acre pond that I had installed. It's about five and a half foot deep at the deepest spot. Uh, I don't follow any of the rules with ponds, so don't use me as a pond expert. This is what I will tell you. If you don't put an aerator in your pond, you're gonna have tons of algae. So as you can see, this algae is all dying off, but this entire pond was almost a bloom of algae because I didn't have an aerator in it. Uh, but now we have the aerator in, it's been running about two weeks. We can see all the algae is starting to die off and even algae that is existing is a really light color it's not a bright green anymore so it's all dying so let me show you what i'm using this is a setup right here so we got a five foot okuma celio ultralight daiwa reel four pound test and we're just running a 16th ounce jig head in this case i've got just this little grub that i like the color of i wish i knew all the names like some of you guys out there but i have no clue this is the grub i bought it at big r so let's make a couple casts in the pond see if we can't get our reel warmed up before we head out to the river there we go didn't take long this looks like a crappie For those of you that watched my videos, you probably saw my Diamond Lake crappie fishing video. Well, for the lady that got really mad because I was keeping all those crappie and killing them all, there you go. There was one of 44 crappie that ended up inside this pond here. So 13 inch crappie, not a bad fish. So you can see they're doing well, healthy looking. Let's put them back. There it goes. And by the way, if any of you guys want to keep fish, keep them. If it's legal and you can keep them and you're not letting them go to waste, keep the fish. I'm tired of people telling people what to do. If it's legal, do it. If it's what you want to do, it's America. You're free. Do what you want. All right, so we get another one out of there. There's nothing I hate more when somebody posts something on a Facebook closed group for fishing and I know as soon as they post it that 10 people are going to say something really crappy about it did you keep that fish let the breeders go who freaking cares if they want to keep that fish and it's legal let them keep the fish they want to kill it take a picture they want to mount it it's their fish let them do what they want to do I'm tired of people hating on fishermen and I'm tired, especially, of other fishermen hating on fishermen. We're supposed to stick together here. We're supposed to be a team. And uh, when we go at each other like that, that's not team-like. And that's not how we're going to keep this alive for our kids. If you want to know what I have in this pond, I have a little bit of everything. I got white bass, largemouth bass, smallmouth, crappie, bluegill, red ear, warmouth, walleye,
channel catfish, yes, flathead catfish, which is a big no-no in the pond. I do have flathead in here. Uh, Northern Pike. Like I said, don't follow me. I violate every rule of a pond. All right, it's not fun on the pond. Let's head down to the river and see what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, here it is, the Elkhart River. We had a tree go down yesterday. Drop across the path, so I have to cut that up. We got our rinky-dink little dock we installed a few weeks back. And as you can see, the water is way low, way low. So we're gonna wait on out here and see what we can do. All right, let's head on out here. Ooh, it's chilly. I didn't think the river would be this cold. Ooh, we're at the twig and berries now. Full commitment. Let's do this. Let's put a little color down in there. Cause I really feel like there's some small mouth behind that eddy. Let's chuck a little color in there. See if they like that. Here we go, just a little grub paddle tail. Ooh, that looks good in the water too. Yeah, a little chub, creek chub pounding on it. <laughs> That's a good sign. Well, I'm sure that wind sounds really good on a mic. Ooh, he followed it up. You see it right there. All right. It seemed to be in the middle of the river. Let's work that again. The third bite I've had going is right up the middle of the river. There we go. There we go. Oh, listen to that drag. Look at this rod. <laughs> That's not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. You have to keep that drag light. It's only four pound, guys. Yeah. Not sure what we got here. Looks like a pretty nice smallmouth. Is yeah, that's that's a tanker smallmouth right there. Let's see if we can wear them out a little bit. You like that color? Switched out to that green with that orange tail. That was it. That's what he wanted. a little dance. Those minnows. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Right, he's gonna jump. All right, I think he's about done. As soon as I say that, though. Look at that. Beautiful. He wasn't hooked by much, but he's hooked good. There you go. Beautiful Elkhart River smallmouth. That's about the normal size in here, 12, 13 inches. They don't get much bigger in here. So let's let him go. There he goes. Awesome. Very fun. There we go. Perfect. Small mouth, little guy. Oh, there you go. I'll slow mo that one. <laughs> Quick release. All right, let's put another one down at transition. There he goes. 
felt him nipping at it. Just wasn't committing. Well, that is a really big smallmouth, guys. I mean, that is a toad. That's probably 18 inch smallmouth I just hooked up. Let's see if we can keep him buttoned. This, look at the bend on this five foot ultralight. This thing's bent all the way down to the butt of the handle. I'm not kidding, this is a tank smallmouth. I don't want to push them too hard. I also want to keep them out of that log jam down there. See if I can gain some ground on them just a little bit here. Let's give them a little bit of the bones. This is a pretty big smallmouth. He's not even close already. I felt him nip at it a couple times. But he just didn't come in. He's gonna jump. He's gonna give me a little jump. You can tell this fish is starting to get frustrated. Got a glimpse of him. He's up close. He's a pretty big fish. Don't want to push it too hard. This is only four pound test. He's coming up river now. He's definitely getting frustrated. He's trying to look for an out. He's gonna jump. Nice fish. He might go 16. I don't know if he's a 18, 20 incher, but he's a, he's a nicer fish. smallmouth right there now this smallmouth more than likely came up from the St. Joe because they took that dam out and that opened up all the other fish to come up from the St. Joe and uh, the genetics were stunted in this gene pool here so now we got some new fish in here that is a beautiful beautiful smallmouth guys I mean, look at that it's probably 16 17 inch smallmouth no, it doesn't look that big in my hands. I'm a big guy. That's a pretty good size smallmouth. Great fight, too. All right, he is clamped down on my thumb. Let's see if he lets go. Here he goes. No worse for the wear. Nice. Very nice. All right. throw this little propeller in here a couple times see if we get something to bite on it didn't take long what we got here I'm not sure what we have here, but 
you bounded it. It's a nice fish. I don't even remember putting that fish in here. this four pound test. This little fight. Oh, that was a big crappie. That was a big one. Again. Got some air on that one. 